In today's video, we're taking a journey across Southern Ohio. We're looking for Indian mounds, but we're also gonna show you lots of other cool stuff along the way, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just had a brief stay in Cincinnati, Ohio, and going from Parkersburg to Cincinnati, I travel along a high Route 32. And if you don't know about a high Route 32, it runs through a very, very dense part of Native American occupied area. And all over the country through here, there are Indian mounds, earthworks, and all kinds of other cool stuff. And what we wanted to do today was take our time on the way back and investigate some of these mounds and some of the other history around here, including old schoolhouses, churches, just anything historic or anything that we find interesting. So we're going down the road. We're going to show you a couple mounds that we know of, and then we're going to try to find a couple more that we found on a Z maps of Native American landmarks. And I'll leave the link for that Z map so you guys can find some of this stuff. Maybe come out and see for yourselves and enjoy it. But we're going the road now. We've got a little stop up here. We're going to show you a couple cool things here in just a minute. All right, we're in Newtown, Ohio, and this little cemetery here is called Flag Spring Cemetery. And right here is the mound at the center of the cemetery. You can get a look at the layout of it up here. And there's a little bit of history. Since 1980, the village of Newtown owns and maintains Flag Spring Cemetery, formerly managed by the Odd Fellows Lodge. Flag Spring Cemetery has graves dating back to the early 19th century. Many of those buried were the first settlers in this area who founded Newtown, formerly known as Mercersburg. So if you're ever out in this area, just outside Cincinnati, Newtown, Ohio, and you want to check out a little historic cemetery with a little Native American history right at the center, check out Flag Spring Cemetery. We're going to get back on the road and see if we can't find a couple more. Alright, this next one I'm a little bit on the fence about because it showed it on the map as being about a half a block to a block over on another street over there about 200 yards. But here's an old cemetery and right at the back side of it right here is what looks like a mound with a tree growing on it and some graves around it. It's fairly close. If it's not the mound I was looking at, it's another one, I think. I'll let you be the judge, though. There's a couple here in a little town called Batavia. We just haven't happened to find it exactly where it said it was. This one is a little unique. It's got... Maybe it's not a mound. Maybe it's just a tomb. There's a backside to it. That's pretty neat though. Finding something else thinking we had a mound. Must be where our family's interred. That's pretty cool. We're gonna get back on the road. We're gonna try to find a complex of mounds. Uh, 20, 30 miles down the road here I see on the map clustered together. So we should yield some good results down there. The one, one of the problems we run into, some of these mounds aren't on public roads. And you can see the top of one out there. It's out in the middle of a farmer's field here, a little place called Sardinia, Ohio, close to Sardinia, Ohio. So we run into that a lot. We came about two, three miles off the road looking for that one. And uh, that's about all the closer we're going to get to it. We couldn't find the second one that's supposed to be beside it. We're going to move down a few more miles and head towards that cluster of them, though, that there seem to be about eight or ten of. We'll see how many of those we could find. Here's a cool site. An old railroad right away. And on this side, in these trees, there's actually the remnants of a bridge over there. And some kind of old dam. The bridge right there. It's pretty cool. All right, I think we're getting somewhere here. Using, you see, the name in the road. 
you're on the good trail. There's supposed to be an earthworks and a mound up here, so we're gonna see if we can at least see those mound. The earthworks usually are long and gone, but uh, sometimes you could see them, the remnants of them in the field. So we'll take a look and see if we can. All right, we haven't located the earthworks, but it looks like we have located the mound. It is way out there in the field. It's actually a really big mound. Probably 20, 30 foot tall. It just sits right in the middle of this field on uh, Eagle Township Road. I'm not sure the number in Brown County, Ohio. Pretty nice one there. Right here's a really good view of it. That thing's probably a little bit taller than I thought it was. It might even be a 40 foot tall mound. It's really far out there, so you really can't get a good profile of it from here. Unless somebody would have been out there walking on it. That one's pretty cool. That's the biggest one we've seen so far today. All right, I wanted to take a little stop to show you a little town mural. This is actually the home to the Serpent Mound, Peoples, Ohio. Now we are gonna do a video of Serpent Mound, but we're not gonna do it in this video. Serpent Mound deserves its own video, so we're gonna save that. I'm actually gonna do a video where I bring the family, bring my wife and kids up, and we'll get a look at that in the future. But we were really close to it. I wanted to come in and I wanted to show you the little mural on the side of the building. Give you a little showcase of a video that's coming down the road. Alrighty, I hope you guys are looking forward to that Serpent Mound video. We're gonna do that as soon as we can. We've got more business to do up there in Cincinnati, so we have plenty of opportunities to do it. If you guys are looking forward to that and you haven't done so yet, please like this video, subscribe to our page. It helps out. Uh, the more subscriptions, the better. You know, maybe one of these days we can make a little money having fun doing this stuff. But uh, yeah, if you guys don't mind, share it with friends that you think would enjoy the videos as well. We really appreciate it. We're getting down the road here. There's one more spot about 10, 15 miles down here. It's got a lot of mounds, the place I was telling you about earlier. Uh, we're gonna get down here, investigate it. Hopefully we can bring you something good in just a minute. All right, we're gonna finish the day off right here beside the Scioto River in a little town called Jasper, Ohio. I look on the Z maps right here around Jasper, which is near the river in US 23. And there are like a dozen mounds allegedly within a mile of the intersection of the two highways. So we're driving around right now. We're trying to hunt some of them up that's in here. And we'll show you when we find them. All right, I don't know if you can see it up there, but there's one on top of that hill and I'm pretty sure that's it right there in the center. There's one up there and there's supposed to be one down here off the hill somewhere, but I've been unable to locate it. There's a few more, one out this way and then there's a few more back. Actually, there's a, quite a few more back the other way. We'll go see if we can't locate some more. All right, we're driving around trying to find these mounds. I've got to show you this. This is really cool. I'm probably going to be mad that I'm driving through it because it's private property, but look at this covered bridge these people built. That is awesome. Got a double decker train we're getting ready to go under. All right, that's a beautiful sunset. And those hills out there, those are some of the highest prominences I've ever seen in Ohio. We've got one more stop here and then we're gonna call it a night. All righty, our last stop's a cemetery. And just like many others, it's named Mound Cemetery. There's actually three or four little mounds combined in this thing, it's pretty cool. We'll go in here and have a closer look at them. According to the legends on the map, there's another, like earthworks. I don't know if it's these little ones that's in front of it that's uh, associated with these mounds in this cemetery. And it has something to do with like a stone pathway or something that went through the town of uh, Piketon, Ohio up there because there's a, another one I couldn't locate up there in town. But you can see there's a couple, there's actually a Revolutionary War soldier buried on top. Now, I made a short of this cemetery that you could check out as well. It tells a little bit more of the story. You see, you got this small mound here. You got the larger mound here. 
You got one right here and one right here. This is probably the coolest place we visited today. It's definitely my favorite on the list. Alrighty, we're gonna get back behind these mounds a little bit further. I have a pen pal on Facebook, Dave Ullman, and he talked a lot about when you're at these earthworks, kind of notice how the sun sets and there's little rays of sunlight and they just come right at us. And I can't help but wonder that these mounds were placed for that reason. You know, Stonehenge, at certain points of the year, the light of the sun sets and sunrises shines right through the holes in the hinges. And a lot of these Native American earthworks kind of have similar features or they mimic or point to constellations or other objects in the sky. So something neat to sit and ponder if you ever get the chance to come out and find these things, especially when there's multiple of them in one site. It really makes you think. Alrighty, that's it for our adventures today. I hope you guys enjoyed all these mounds we drove around and saw. I wanted to show this one to you last because by far this one's my favorite one that I've seen on the way up. We did find some pretty cool ones that I haven't seen before. And I hope some of y'all, if you're in the area, you get out and you get to see those too. Uh, if you guys like this, please subscribe. I can't stress it enough. It helps the channel out. Uh, if you know anybody that's interested in this kind of stuff, just let them know we're here. We appreciate everybody watching. Y'all have a good one.